how does, how does one know that someone with the total physical appearance of a man, how can one know that that person really is a woman? Do you have an answer to that question? How can, you're, was to clarify, you're asking how can somebody know if they are a woman? And how can I know if that person is a woman? If, if not by the physical attributes, their natural and enduring biological sex. What's the alternative to that? So my, my response to you is then a question of what is the purpose of knowing another person's sexual, I well, sexual see, there, there identity? Or per, but let me finish. Yeah. If it's not for the premise of reproduction, hmm? no, and there's no, no, no. there's no need to relate outside of that, then I don't quite understand why we would need to question or... So this, or is, what, this is what happens. When What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on a new video. Today, I'm going to check it out. Mike and Norway's school's work students who claim transgen transgenderism is indigenous. Okay, let's, go to, let's check this out. This is going to be amazing. So let's get right into it. Before I state my question, I just want to honor that we are all standing on the land that belongs to the Ojibwe and Anishinaabe people. Uh, Thank Dakota. you for mentioning that. I meant to mention that at the beginning of my yep. speech, yep. but I'm glad that Dakota, you Dakota, Northern Cheyenne, um, and they have been here for time immemorial. And so that leads into my question. So um, you make the statement that transgenderism must be eradicated from public life entirely. And so I'm going to ask you a question about that. But prior to that, I want to to just state that for 5,000 years BC, Gala transcribed and androgynous trans priests of Sumerian goddesses have been around and noted. 200 to 300 years before Christ in ancient Greece, there were gods worshipped by Gali priests who wore feminine attire and identified as women. Um, since we are standing on Anishinaabe land, Turtle Island, which is the nation that we live under, um, has uh, I don't live two under Turtle people. Island. All right, well, maybe you should read a little more indigenous knowledge books. Um, and indigenous communities have used two-spirit uh, personas for the in entirety of their culture. And so that leads me to my question. When you say that transgenderism must be eradicated from public life entirely, I ask you, Mr. Knowles, how can we eradicate something that has been here as long as humans have? Well, yeah, there have been all sorts of crazy, terrible ideas for a very long time, too. You, you, you're pointing to civilizations that committed human sacrifice, okay? You're saying that some ancient pagan tribe worshipped demons and therefore we need to castrate children. That's not a good argument. Yes, that's true. There were all sorts of terrible tribes. In fact, as recently as a little over 500 years ago, the Aztecs here in the Western Hemisphere slaughtered 80,000 people in a sacrifice to one of the demons that they worshipped within the span of four days. That's mm. not a recommendation of doom. Doing that, I don't think that we ought to consider it. Though, unfortunately, in our increasingly pagan and liberal culture, we do commit human sacrifice to the tune of 800,000 babies a year sacrificed through abortion, and, and it, it would make the Aztecs blush. Okay, right that is a backfire. But, but that doesn't make it the right thing. You refer to a notion that is increasingly popular on the left, which is the idea of the two spirit among various indigenous tribes. That is not real. That is a cr contrivance of white liberals in America. There have been various conceptions of sex and gender for all of human history, uh, but, but the, the idea of the two-spirited uh, indigenous intuition of some modern transsexual uh, living in New York City who's a man who very much desires to be a woman, that is a complete fiction. You will mm. not find that in literature dating very far back. Uh, mm. So what does it say about the question itself? The question, regardless of what the ancient Sumerians believed before they chopped up little, little kids or whatever, is, is it true? Can a man really be a woman and can a woman really become a man. We all know that the answer to that question is false. That's why Professor McCloskey pulled out of our debate at the last moment next week, because even a distinguished professor knows, he has the intelligence to know, even if he is transgender identifying himself, that he can't win that debate because the idea is indefensible. So the, the question becomes, how does, how does one know that someone with the total physical appearance of a man. How can one know that that person really is a woman? Do you have an answer to that question? How can, you're, was to clarify, you're asking how can somebody know if they are a woman? And how can I know if that person is a woman? If, if not by the physical attributes, their natural and enduring biological sex. What's the alternative to that? So my, my response to you is then a question of 
what is the purpose of knowing another person's sexual, I well, sexual see, there, there identity or per, but let me finish. Yeah. If it's not for the premise of reproduction, hmm. Hmm? No, and there's no, 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 there's no need to relate outside of that, then I don't quite understand why we would need to question or. So this or is what this put, is what happens whenever you ask a transgender activist to explain even the basic premise of the movement is they'll immediately say, well, who cares? Why, why are you so obsessed with this? I'm not obsessed with this. I'm not the one who started sending men into the women's bathroom and taking away their trophies and castrating kids. I'm perfectly happy with the way things have worked for thousands of years. It is mm. the transgender activists who are trying to upend everything. And so I think it's, it is at least my right to ask the question, okay, what is the premise of your movement? But they always deflect from that. They always withdraw from the debate. They always try to change the subject because there is no answer. So you ask me, well, what's the purpose of, why, why do you even care? What's the purpose of knowing someone's biological sex? Well, for starters, because we have civil rights specifically for women in the United States. We mm. have special bathrooms for women. We have special sports leagues for women. We have all sorts of special places and rights and privileges and, and that are for women that are not for men. So if now some men, people who at the very least appear to be men, are claiming a right to go into those women's bathrooms, then they, we either have to abolish all of the special rights and privileges that have existed for women women for all of human history and mm. are enshrined in our law, or they need to explain to me how those men are actually women. And they can't do the latter, and I'm not willing to do the former, and I don't think women across this country are willing to do the former, even if a few people have been so ideologically blinded that they, mm. that they would give in to this kind of an absurdity. Mike Raya just cleared the entire point clearly for us to see. Because her related points right here about the indigenous people, she should read more about indig indigenous. Uh, Michael was like, your, your statement so far is not really making any sense. Because if you think about it, there are some things that were being done even before Jesus was born or even before Jesus died. Some uh, rituals, some, some things that were being performed or things that were being done before we were even in this world, 500, 600, 1,000 years ago. That's and I'm not, we're not doing it again now. You understand? It sometimes has been a bone issue. Sometimes it's been like it's crazy. So you telling us that um, people who are transgender, transgenders, um, they existed before, that they, while we're trying to abolish the arts, it's, they existed before people who identify as women or identify as men, if that's how fat is true. Anyways, does not mean we should carry out such art to keep on going. You understand? It's like, let me say, um, the killing of twins now, for instance, now. Killing of twins, some, before they were first killing twins, you understand? And it was abolished by Mary Slessor. So you can't tell us that, okay, because they were killing twins before, we should keep on killing the twins. It has been abolished for a reason, because it is not good. You understand? So her facts, her, her point, let me just say facts, her point right there makes absolutely no sense. And she, she, she came prepared and backed with, with her research that she carried in, not knowing it's, it's not useful because you are trying making no points telling us to bring back um, what has been done. There is a reason why it was abolished those times and people don't practice that art again now. But now people are trying to like tell us a man can identify as a woman, which we all know it makes no sense. So if I identify as a woman, I go to the female restroom, you can you can you can sue me, and I'm still a man, and I'm just checking out the women. Okay, okay. Why are you doing your identify as a woman? Oh, okay. It makes no sense, absolutely no sense, because a lot of people have been raped through that art. A lot of people have been abused through that art. So you, whenever you ask people who are, um these transgender activists questions like, why do you stand for this? They are mostly speechless. You are standing for. An art that absolutely can lead to chaos and trouble in the society. You understand? So anyone can identify as anything they want. It makes no sense. Anyone can identify as a woman. Anyone can identify as a man. They say it's a feeling. They feel it inside them. So it's... I call this people delusional. They are, they are mostly delusional because it makes no sense right here. Um... Mike, I, I just love the entire speech. He was very cool, coordinated, and precise. Uh, he talked to the lady straight points. She's Dunajana. He dismantled her straight. <laughs> straight right there. Like, he allowed her, made her point, 
uh, points, like, she clarified the stuff. Then he does, he shut her down straight. I love that. This was amazing to watch. I love the entire video, and I love how he he was ready for the, for her her questions. Then he gave it back to her because it's, it's something that's really really simple. She's making fat about history. It's something that happened before. They have a bonus such art, and you bring it back because people that were around where you stay practiced it before does not mean she continues such art. So guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't know papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all over.